ugly sometimes too, so we can learn. We get a lot of great teach tape out here, and uh, you know, not only just assignment wise, but really how to compete. I mean, that's that's probably as much as anything more because we got a lot of young guys that are getting reps. And, you know, they still aren't 100% certain what we're doing, and they just got to make a decision and go fast. That's kind of the first rule of competing. So we're kind of working through some of that. Yeah. It's the third year. Is everyone just with the program more? I mean, is it? It's never easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's never easy. But uh, yeah, they know the expectations mm -hmm. certainly uh, better than we did in the past. Um, so that that does make it make it better. But it's never easy. Does it feel smoother this spring? I mean, you feel the bond. You think it's such a good group. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know if spring ball is ever smooth uh, because again, everybody gets reps, and one side makes a play. The other side, you're looking at it, really? And so you're trying to figure out, is it, is it just a young guy? Is the guy not competing? The guy that knows assignments? So it's just a lot. So it, it never feels smooth. But it feels good because we don't have to win tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday. We've got to win here in a few months. And so we've got time to work through some of these things. The defense really looked like they had their way on, on Wednesday. It's yeah. Nice to, I mean, it seemed like the offense at least something to celebrate today. You'd yeah. like to see that bounce back. Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a give and take, and uh, you know we got some guys that have played a lot of defense out there in the offense. We got to get that as you know it always starts in the O line, and uh, starts with pass protection a lot. And we got a lot of schemes we've introduced, and our defense is throwing a lot of different looks. And all it takes is that one guy to not be dialed in. And so, like I said, it's really good to get all this on tape, so we have all this to clean up. And it's not going to change when we start in the fall. You know, the schemes aren't going to change. So we got this, and so hopefully we can be that much further ahead when we start in August. How much install have you done this spring? We've done a lot, you know, and we'll, we'll, we'll put it all in, except for game plan stuff. And the game plan stuff isn't huge. You know, it's a couple wrinkles each game, but we're going to we're gonna put it all in. Is that maybe some of the, the offense? Is, a lot of, is it a lot of new stuff? Or maybe they're trying to figure out? Well, it's always this whole part whole. Put it all in, you're cleaning it up, put it back in, clean it up. And that can be a tough process. And you know, we don't wanna we don't wanna give them excuses. It's not it should look it should look good. Uh, but we also know it's not gonna look good at all times. Where is the offensive line? Is it uh, difficult to evaluate with the You know, uh, I think I think that old line is probably the last group that really has to be able to play together. And there is a lot many. I mean, those guys will have as much on their plate, uh, maybe even more so than a quarterback, because you got to get five guys all on the same page. The quarterback, he needs to he needs to be dialed on everything, but five guys all have to work together. So that's a lot of moving parts. Chris, on the, uh, Caleb was out conditioning. I, I assume that's a positive development for him. You guys can't worry about injuries in spring. Okay, uh, we, we're not even going to talk about injuries. So next question. <laughs> Figure Saturday, next Saturday, will look the same as uh, standard practice or the same as last year. Yeah, years, it will. And I know everybody wants to come out here and see a 120 play scrimmage, and it's not going to happen. But you'll see us practice hard, and you'll see us get work done, and you will see a little bit of scrimmaging. So we'll do all those different things, and uh, you know we keep saying we don't we don't need to win spring ball. Uh, we just need to get better in spring ball. So we really feel like that last practice is important to. Uh, do it the right way and be smart about it. On the on the last play here of the of the team, but yeah. who, who who won that particular uh, rep? Was that a sack or was that a touchdown? Well, the, the offense truly won because all they needed to do was was the score to win. But then I made it tied, so I changed the rules on them. And they didn't get two, and they didn't get two, so it's always back and forth. You know, that's that's kind of what I do. I just make one side of the ball miserable. If one side's doing good, then we'll just change the rules on them, and that's how it goes. They gotta be able to deal with it. They gotta adjust. They gotta adapt. They gotta be able to deal with everything that's going on. And uh, Tony Rodriguez, it looks like he's uh, made some measurable steps. Yeah, I think. I think. All, like I said, I think all those guys have made progress. And that's what it's all about. And, um, you know, when we play for real, it's just gotta be more than just steps and progress. It's gotta be at an extremely high level, or well, you don't win. We know that. But we feel good about those guys. All those quarterbacks are making progress. Hey, did you have any? Go ahead. Did Rodriguez push for that backup job? Yeah. 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 Hey, it's all open. 
I can't say that sincerely enough. I mean, I, I'm not going to say anything that's not 100% true here to you guys, to our team. It's all open. If Jake doesn't keep producing, it's all open. This is all seating chart. There's no depth charts. And I mean that sincerely. Did you have an opinion on the, the satellite camp ruling yeah. last week? Yeah. Um, my big opinion is, is that they need to not spring things on us. We were, we were told, I was told that if it came through, it was going to be next year. We have all these agreements with all these people all over that are counting on us. Kids count on us, other coaches, other programs. And now they're saying we can't do it. We have all these agreements. That's probably my number one beef about the whole thing. The you know, whatever we decide, we decide. I like the satellite camps. I think they're good for kids. But if we're not going to do it to pull the rug when we have all these agreements, I don't think that's right. Did you get the sense that the most Pac-12 coaches that kind of share your opinion on it? I, I think in general, most coaches just want to give kids chances, and, you know, get their university exposure. And it just, not all kids can get up here. I mean, I wish everybody would just come up here to Seattle and see this beautiful place, but not everybody can do that. So this gives us a chance to be around. Is that like you scrambling you have to cancel? Well, we're still waiting on the final ruling because, you know, again, we got agreements with people. We've done this for the last couple of years. And so these guys are looking at us like, huh? And so we're waiting on the final ruling. I hope if they do it, it's like next year because we have all these agreements. You know, guys have brochures made up. Now everything's on hold. Like I said, we go on and on about this. Chris, is, uh, is the, the coach's clink weekend, is that a special weekend for you just in terms of maybe seeing guys again for the first time in yeah. a while and, and kind of catch it up? Yeah. And it's, real, it's, it's real important to me because they don't let the head coach out in the spring. And since they've done that, you lose a lot of, a lot of relationships. You, know, you can't get out. So, and then in the fall, you're on such a whirlwind tour trying to see all your guys that it's hard to stop in the schools just to visit coaches. And so it is good to get a lot of coaches here. One, because I think, uh, you know, we're fortunate we get to do this 24-7, study football, you know, learn from all over. And a lot of these coaches have other jobs, have to teach. And so they can come here and use us on some of the things that we've learned. And if it applies to them, awesome, take it with you. So Larry, finish it up. Yeah. Larry, go ahead. A lot, a lot of nice things are starting to be said about your program and the expectations for the fall. Is that the last thing you want to hear at this point? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why. What, what are the nice things? <laughs> you know, Pac-12 pac contenders. Because we were seven and six last year. <laughs> Get a, lot, yeah, a lot of guys. I'm back. trying to figure that out. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I don't pay attention to that. And mm -hmm. if our team does, we're in deep trouble. We haven't done anything. Yeah. And so, if we pick up where we left off, we haven't done anything. We need to make significant strides, mm -hmm. and that is to be determined. So to me, that's just all outside noise. It distracts these kids from what we're trying to get done. Do you have to address that? Or... You know, we talk about the culture, the mentality 24-7 around here. So it's really important in the world that we live in. You know, one of the biggest things that they have to deal with day in and day out is just outside influences. You're part of those. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, over there, guys, we're OK, guys.